Hey what's up guys welcome to a brand new video today I'll be showing you how to add mobile support and mobile controls for your game so let's get right into it before we start I want to first of all thank you for 3,000 subscribers it really means a lot to me I'll be doing a giant giveaway soon so I'll make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on you don't want to miss this one and first of all before we start all of this I want to tell you to check out the skill tutorial that I've linked down below you have to use this so you can use the ability and the running script that I'll be using here this basically ties to anything mobile related but if you want to follow what I'm doing you have to get the download from those files so make sure to check that video down below and without further ado let's get right into it okay so to start everything off we're gonna have to be first making a UI inside the starter UI and we're gonna be naming it mobile controls so to start off we're gonna hit the plus button right here and we're gonna do screen UI after that is made we can rename it to mobile controls let's just find where the position is just do it like this mobile controls Okay, got it and we're gonna add a frame that we're gonna move right here to the side we're gonna be basically making this frame like let's say half of the screen or something like this okay cool now once that is done you can basically set the transparency to one and then we're gonna make a button inside of this which is gonna be a text button I'm gonna put it right here let's put it right there uh, and if you want to make it a circle you basically hit the plus button right here and you put UI corner I'm basically gonna bump this up to like 50 right so now it looks like a button you can resize it something like this we're gonna put it in the center right so let's rename this button one and we're going to put text scaled on right here and we're going to name this ability now again we're going to be using ability from my video of skill template so if you don't have that make sure to watch the video make the ability then come back to this video because i'm referencing the script from there okay the next thing we're going to do is you can just like now customize the button and everything like that we can basically add another background color i like to keep them gray and when we do that we can maybe put the transparency a little bit to like 0.5 and then we can change the text color to maybe white and then we can do uh, text stroke transparency to zero and we can change the font maybe to let's say this one okay cool now once that is done we have to make sure this is centered so if we go ahead and go into this and then we go into let's say iphone xr you can see it's not there right so to fix this what we're going to do is we're going to head back to our desktop and we're going to basically go ahead and use this plugin that i have right here to get it you basically go into toolbox and you just go plugins and search auto scale like this uh, and you can get the one for free once that is done you basically click this button right here you go to plugins click this and hit uh unit conversion right and hit both of these position and scale and then go into the button and then hit both position and scale so what that will do is when we go ahead and go into here the button will be centered already to the phone and any device usually and that is a really big factor because we don't want to be having different devices overlap each one so once you have the UI ready, we're going to be making another button later on, but I'm going to show you how to make your skill mobile supported, right? So what we're going to do is we first reference here the user input service. So what we're going to do is we're going to be referencing again the user input service. We're going to do if UIS.touchenabled. This basically means if the user is playing on a phone or a mobile device, then. And what we're going to do now is what I forgot to do is to basically disable this because we don't want to have this if we're playing on PC we're gonna have that if we want to play on mobile so let's get back to the script and let's do so local UI equals to player dot player UI dot mobile controls UI dot enabled equals to true so that will basically make the UI enabled so if we go ahead and basically play on the desktop right here you're gonna see that we don't have any UI but if we go ahead and actually switch 
to iPhone XR for example once we head into the game it's going to enable the UI so you see the ability button right there okay cool so once you have that knocked off we're going to basically go UI dot button one so we're referencing the button one so UI dot button oh dot frame dot button one dot mouse one button up connect function so we're gonna be basically connecting a function from the mouse button up so we have a cooldown for this ability right here and to put that in we're gonna have to make a separate one so we're gonna do local cooldown equals to false and we're gonna do if cooldown equals to true then return end got it so now we're gonna do cooldown equals to true I'm gonna wait five seconds as the cooldown is there cooldown equals to false so now to basically transfer over the ability what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be referencing the track right here so the animation I'm gonna paste this in here put a local in front of this and then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna basically take this remote event that we're firing and basically do it right here and we're gonna so we have to copy the mouse position too we're gonna do it right here and now that is reference and what should happen is when we hit play this skill should play out on mobile so if we go ahead and go in here boom see it played our skill on mobile and we have a button right there and we actually have a cooldown we can't spam it right so we have to wait five seconds boom 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 and if we hit it again it basically does the ability right now the framework is the same for anything you do basically it's just if UIS that touch enabled then and you just reference the button that we made here and then you basically just fire off the remote event you play an animation it's basically just the same as this but there's not gonna be holding right here we're not gonna go that deep into it but the next thing I want to showcase you guys is the running and how to use counts to basically have two button touches so if you like press the button you run and then you press it again to not run anymore right so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the running script that we have right here you can take this off of our free movement system or I think it is in the skill pack but I'm not sure but you can basically take this off any pack that we have currently on the store or on the YouTube for free and we can basically add it like this okay so it's gonna be the same thing we're gonna be doing uh, if UIS dot touch enabled so if user input service that touch enabled then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making the cooldown again here uh, we're actually not going to be making the cooldown we're going to be making a count so local count equals to zero okay and now what we want to do is we want to do the thing again that we did so we do uh, local UI equals to player dot player UI dot mobile controls that enabled equals to true uh, actually we're gonna do like this and then the UI that enabled equals to true okay so after that we're gonna do again UI dot frame that oh we have to make another button so to make another button we're gonna have to first enable this so we can see where the buttons are and we're gonna duplicate this drag it off here and basically rename it button 2 boom and once that is done we do run let's say like this okay cool so now we can disable this and we can go back and say ui.frame.button2 dot mouse button one up connect function okay so we have to make it so you can run when you click it and then turn it off when you don't right so to do that what we're going to be doing is we're going to reference this count right here so we're going to do if count equals to one then we're going to basically do a spawn function right here you can check out our tutorial on how to script for beginners to see what spawn functions are but basically when we reference this spawn function we're going to basically put a wait so we're going to do task that wait for 0 0.05 seconds and we're going to do count equals to zero and i'm going to be explaining this in a short while so just stay patient with me and then we're gonna be making this so this is gonna be the stop right here so it's gonna stop the track and it's gonna stop the running so we're gonna be copying all of this and we're gonna paste it right here 
then we're gonna do if count equals to zero then so count equals to count plus one so now it's gonna be sent to one which is gonna be when we press it again it's gonna be count one and this is why we put that wait so it runs this function off but it does but it runs it a little later so it doesn't check for it actually instantaneously because if it did if this wasn't here then it will basically uh, start running again like it wouldn't stop actually so what we're gonna do again is we're gonna go ahead and copy all of this right and then after that we're gonna just paste it right here boom okay got it so uh, that should kind of be it uh, there should there could be a problem where if we are because we are on PC we're not actually on mobile it will actually be a little bit glitchy because of the button clicking because if you're moving with your keyboard and clicking the buttons Roblox see look at that you can't properly move if you're on mobile uh, so yeah I'm having some issues right here uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically hit the run and see it should automatically run let's see if there's any errors oh okay so we have uh, something that I didn't add uh, we could just remove this and this uh, because this was from a pack I think I took uh, then we can just remove this let me see if I have anything else lined up that should be pretty good now so it should now run let's check it out it looks like it's waiting on something again yeah it's waiting on a running yeah we have to remove this too You, you guys will usually have these values, but uh, because I don't have them, uh, I'm trying to remove it off the script. So do the run to value false. This and this. And it should be good now, I guess. Let's try it again. So boom. There we go. Yeah, and there we go. And now if you click it again, and if you click it again, it stops basically. So you can do boom. now there's a thing where we can make it if you don't want to run in place because this is on PC simulated to mobile so it doesn't quite actually work you, I can't press two buttons at the same time see I can only use WSD but see what we can do is we can uh, make this only if the velocity of the humanoid is greater than zero so what we can do is we can do we can say basically so uh, if humanoid dot velocity uh, no sorry if humanoid dot uh, we can do if character dot humanoid root part dot magnitude is greater than zero then and then we can put an end right here. And what that would do is basically if this won't run if the player isn't moving already yeah it's not doing that let me just check what it is again I'm trying to see what the reference of this is give me one second okay guys I found a better solution for this right here so we're gonna be referencing the human running function so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new value called is moving and then we're gonna basically say so if the human is running connect the function speed so if the speed is greater than zero then is moving is true else it's false and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this if is moving equals to false then return and and now basically what we do is if we go ahead and set into it we didn't close something properly yeah I forgot to delete this end from the function before okay when we get back to this it should be good now so if you click run yeah it's gonna you can't run if you don't actually go so I'm gonna try and replicate this because you can actually use two controls at the same time yeah there we go I'm trying to do this it, on mobile it should work completely fine but because we're simulating this it doesn't quite work properly because I can't touch two keys at the same time but yeah if we click it again it's gonna just make us stop running that will kind of be basically be it for the mobile controls now as I, as I said again this applies to anything basically so the template is if you ask the touch enable then and then you just basically reference it like you would script it regularly right 
but you have to make the button and you have to make the button activate that function so if we're making an ability we have to do script remote event fire server you have to put that there so again if we go ahead and test it in game actually uh we can do it like this now if you do want to make it so it only happens when you e equip the tool what we can do again is we can go into our skill template and we can put a new value here called local uh detected equals to false and then what we can do is we can do detected equals to true and then detected equals to false so right now we can go ahead here and we can do if detected equals to false then return and what i basically done here this is the tool right here and if it's equipped it basically turns it on and if it's not it turns it off so when we go back and hit play what should happen now is if we have the ability when we click it it doesn't work but if we hit the tool and then hit it it will do it and again it will have the cooldown and everything so after five seconds it will just basically hop back to normal and if you go ahead and try to do it without the tool equipped you're not going to be able to do it right so yeah that will kind of basically be it for this tutorial hope you got guys hope you guys got immense value from this uh and again make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on for that 3k subscriber special while we're releasing a giant pack like we did before with the simple combat so yeah guys that will kind of be it make sure to stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next one peace